Hey guys, Pondo checking in once again from my garage gym. Today is the 18th of January. Um, today is going to be a chest day, chest day workout, and I wanted to break in my new toy. It's um, the multi grip press bar. Uh, I got it from Black Widow Training Gear. Uh, basically, I bought it just for shoulder health. Um, some variety work also for the bench press. Um, you know, oftentimes we do bench with a bar where the uh, where we all know how the palms are faced. It's more in a horizontal perpendicular position to your chest. Hopefully you use the right words. But anyways, the 15 degree angle that the uh, multi grip press bar provides is much more natural. It's a much uh, better angle for your shoulders, uh, similar to how a dumbbell would feel in your hands. So that's um, I'm still getting used to it. Earlier in this video, you saw how I kind of failed at it. The bar slipped out of my hands. I still have to get used to it, definitely, regardless of uh, how ergonomic it is for your structure. Um, also, another thing I wanted to add more of in my training is the overhead press. Um, definitely been neglecting shoulders in the last few months. Probably a big reason why my bench wasn't climbing is the fact that I'm not. Uh, I'm definitely imbalanced. Um, you know, more... Uh, more shoulder work, more overhead work, uh, more lat work also. Can't forget lat work. But yeah, overhead work. I used in the past. I was able to you know hit 205 and more weight handily, but now I'm still back to 135 as you can see right here, um, and it's a good uh, intensity for me. So I definitely want to get back up in my in terms of my overhead work. My shoulders get a lot of work also from the. Um, from the cleans and snatches that I do on a weekly basis. Here's another exercise that I'm gonna, I plan to do more of um, with the multi-grip press bar. For those of you that are wondering, it's, um, it's a 45 pound bar. Um, and it is, you know, it's basically, you could do almost all things you can, that you do with a barbell with it, as you could see right there, the uh, barbell row. Um, so it's a really good, multi-purpose bar multi-grip press bar from black widow training gear.com check it out guys so moving on here as you can see i'm doing a lot of volume today only showing a few sets uh single sets on some of my assistance exercises um doing some dumbbell work doing some lat work i did pull ups so i didn't really film it though um as you can see right here i'm doing a lot of curls i measured my arms today for for those of you that are wondering it's uh 16.8 inches um Hopefully I can get, get those around 18 inches, maybe, you know, 18 inch arms will get me past the uh, three, three plate range on the bench press. So, you know, uh, sun's out, guns out. Anyways, guys, so <laughs> moving along. Um, today I also got my uh, new reverse hyper attachment for, um, you know, it's, it's a product that I've been looking at. Um, definitely love the machine in itself it's a really it's been really good um way for rehab in terms of my lower back um, i do a lot of squats and deadlifts put a lot of load on my spine and ever since i've gotten this machine my lower back has felt uh pretty darn good um i think you know over over the years of uh, heavy weight lifting um definitely takes a toll on your back if i had an mri right now I'd, i would have a wrap sheet as tall as i am but anyways, this machine definitely makes me feel a lot better, makes my recovery feel a lot more, um, you know, appropriate for the training that I do. And um, it's it's definitely, it's expensive, but it's definitely a good investment. Um, so as you can see right here, the roller attachment versus the strap attachment, the jury's still out on whether I prefer that over the strap. But uh, wait for a review pending in the future, guys. So after, you know, all that... Uh, I still had some left in the tank. Um, definitely wanted to hit some more straight bar work. Um, right here, you can see I'm doing 225 for, uh, I believe, a set of 10. And then in the following sets, I'm going to do <clears throat> even more reps, basically till failure, um, which will happen soon. But, you know, I just wanted to get more volume in, get some more hypertrophy work in, in terms of um, chest. Definitely, um, I read an article recently from Chad Wesley Smith's website, JuggernautTrainingSystem.com. It's regarding how um, the younger athletes, definitely, as we were younger, we put a lot of volume, a lot of volume in our legs, um, our lower body in terms of sprinting, running, jumping. Um, our upper bodies take generally a lot longer to mature versus the lower body. Um, so, but to mature, uh, which means basically to 
add a lot more volume. Um, basically, you need a lot of volume in your upper body to catch up to your lower body development, especially if you're a younger athlete. Um, I'll put a link into the description on the article that I read. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Peace out.